we both performed. We both know what it's like to, to be on stage, and it's this really amazing, magical feeling to to play in front of a crowd, and um, and even better to you know to do a good job and to get a reaction from the crowd. It's one of these highs that you get, and I think a lot of people um, would love to experience that, uh, except they they can't. Um, because either they haven't put the time in or it's been too frustrating or, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, the crowd element is one layer of it, but even below that there's a layer which is just physically making sound with your body as one of these vi like incredibly joyful experiences that's hardwired into us as creatures that, right. you know, we all Yeah, feel. and because, and you know, there's, there's research about this. Music is such a, a huge part of who we are, and it's cross-cultural. I mean, we've, we've uh, been... Uh, making music and singing and tapping out rhythms for such a long time. We were interested in taking this connection that we know exists between music and, and people um, and allowing people to experience that music more deeply. So of course people listen to music a lot and they go to concerts and you know they have music in their ears with their iPods and all that, but how do we get people to interact with music more deeply and really experience it um, in a more performative kind of way?